Hi YouTube, welcome to the MA Academy C Data Structures tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to insert a node at a particular index. So if you haven't watched uh, the, my previous couple tutorials or previous few tutorials in those tutorials, in the first tutorial in this series, I showed you guys how to make a very simple and a very basic linked list. In the second tutorial, I showed you how to um, write a function uh, that will insert a node to the end of the linked list. And in the third tutorial, which was the previous one, I showed you how to insert a node at the beginning of the linked list. So in this tutorial, I will cover how would you insert a node at a particular index. So let's get started. Now, I have already explained all this code in here uh, in the previous few tutorials. So in case uh, you haven't watched it and you don't understand this, uh, some parts of this, so I recommend you watch those tutorials. So this is the insert last function, and then there is the insert first function. And so this is the function for which, uh, which uh, we will cover in this tutorial. It's called the uh, insert at index. So how does it work? So what if you wanted to insert a node at a particular index? So first, let's go to these diagrams in here. So for now being, um, we can say that our linked list looks something like this. So this is what this is from the previous uh, tutorial. So we can see that we have a node in our linked list. So we can see that the first pointer it is pointing to the first node, and the last pointer is pointing to the last node in here. So this is the first node. The first node is pointing to the second node. The second node is pointing to the third node, and the third node is pointing to the last node. So we know it's a last node because it contains null. So in here, we have currently four nodes in our linked list. But what if we wanted a fifth? So let's say this is our uh, linked list in here, which I've explained. The first one is pointing to the, uh, the first pointer is pointing to the first node, and the last pointer is pointing to the last node. And we have currently four nodes in our linked list. But let's say we want to add another node and we want to add it in the second position. So we want to add it somewhere in here between these two nodes. So the index of this is zero, the index of this is one, and we want to add, and uh, so currently this is the second node in the uh, linked list, but what we want to do is we want to add a node in here between 15 and 22. So how do we do that? For that, uh, what we have to do first is we have to create a node, right? So we do that. After we do that, we insert a data to it. And for the next, for now being, it would be null. It won't point to anything. So of course, it will have its own address since it resides inside the memory. Uh, then what we do is we point this to the newly created node. So this node in here, uh, this is the second node. And it has an index of 1 because this has the index of 0, this has an index of 1, and this has an index of 2. But what we want to do is we want this to have an index of 2 and this to, in, to have the index of 3 it's because we want to add this node between these two nodes in here. So previously we saw that uh, it was pointing, it had the address 126, which is this one. So this node was pointing to this node in here. But what we want, we want this node to point to this node. So we have to change this address. Currently it is having 126, which is this address. So we want to change it to 554, which is the address of the newly created node. So in here, you can see that that's what we do. We change the address of it to 554, which is this one in here. Once we do that, then the next step is to change this null to point to this address. So in here, um, let me scroll down. So in here, we can see that now this null is was changed. So previously, we saw that this was null. Now it has changed to 126. So we can see that this is 126. Previously, this was 126. It was pointing to it. But now, since uh, this node resides between these two nodes, it will contain 126, which is the address of this node. So this is how our linked list will look now. So we can see that 35 has been successfully inserted at index 2, which is between this node and this node. So if you notice this, at first we had this 15 and then 22. Uh, then we uh, created this node. We pointed this, uh, the second node to the third node, and we pointed this node to this uh, the third node to this fourth node in here. And then uh, in here, we can see that now we have this 35 in between 15 and 22. So this is how the memory layout will look like now. Uh, sorry this one in here. Uh, so we can see that the first will point to this one and then it will point to the second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. 
So now we have successfully managed to insert 35 between 15 and 22. So the memory layout will look something like this. So previously we saw that 15, it was pointing to 22. We can see this red line in here. So now we have changed it. Now 15, it points to 35 and 35 points to 22. So we can see these red lines in here. So let's, uh, how does the code look like in here? So let's uh, look at the code in here. So first we create a pointer. It's called a uh, cat tracker and it's stuff type extract node. So we use it to keep track of the index and we are saying it's equal to first. So first uh, we know that the first pointer points to the first node in the linked list. So for now being, we have two pointers pointing to the beginning of the linked list. One is first and then we created another one. In here we can see that it is called tracker. Then we create another pointer, it's called temp and with the help of temp, we use malloc, we uh, allocate space inside the memory. So this temp in here, ma uh, malloc that we can see, it creates this new node inside the memory. Uh, next, we are saying the malloc, it is of size of extract node. So whatever the size of the structure node is, we want to create that much space inside the memory. So I will quickly go over these things, guys, because I have already explained it many times in the previous tutorials. Then we are casting it to that type of extract node by the, because by default, malloc, points uh, as a generic pointer so we have to cast it to uh, extract node because uh, as I said if you're using it alone it's going to be a this pointer is going, is going to be a gen of generic type so next we are saying data is equal to x so we have to set the data so as soon as we create this new node so you can see that we assign the number to it whatever the user types in here I'm saying it's 35 so we do that Next, we are checking. So we are saying if index is equal to zero. So if index is equal to zero, what does it mean? It means that we want to insert a node at the beginning of the linked list. So this is our linked list, okay? Index always starts at zero, that's what we know. So this is the zeroth index, this is the first index, this is the second index, and this is the third index. So we say we want to add a zeroth index. So it means that we want to add a node at the beginning of the linked list. So for that, it's very simple. We are saying that the temps next should point to the first. So it's very simple. So we are saying that this new node that we create, it should point to whatever first is pointing to. So first is pointing to this address. So this next, uh, this new node will point to uh, this node in here. And then on the second line, it says first is equal to temp. So uh, first currently is pointing to this one because this is the beginning of the linked list. But if we add something to the uh, beginning of, uh, if, we, uh, if, we, if we say something as an index of zero, it means it's the beginning of the linked list. So then we are saying first is equal to temp. So this is what we have created. So then first we'll point to this. So first we'll point to this node. This node will point to this node. And then this point again, you can see that's pointing to this. So this is how it works. So I haven't created diagram it because uh, I've already explained it in this uh, in the previous tutorial. So this is uh, the same as this part in here. So we are saying temp next is equal to first, first is equal to temp. So I've already explained it in the previous tutorial if you have difficulty understanding it. So this part, these are the same. Next, uh, sorry, not next, <laughs> next. Next, what we do, we are saying if index is not equal to zero, what do you do? So we say that we want to add a node at index two. So in here we can see that um, index two. So this is zero index. This is one and this is two. So we want to add something in between these two nodes in here. So this uh, node that has an index of two, it will be the index of three. It will have index of three. Uh, so this newly node will have index of two. So it will be somewhere in between this. So in here, we can see that we have already created this. Um, temp in here, we have assigned the data. Then in here, we are creating a for loop. So we are saying for i is equal to zero, I is less than index minus one and I plus plus. So the first time I will be zero. So let's say if you pass an index is equal to two. So index will be two, two minus one is equal to one. So we are saying for as long as I is less than one, I plus plus. So the first time I is less than minus one, so right? So we are saying tracker is equal to tracker next. So in here we saw that tracker was pointing to the first node. So tracker and first they are pointing to the same node, which is the first node. So in here we are saying since this condition in here we can see that it is true zero is less than one right so tracker is equal to trackers next so what does it mean 
it means uh, this is a tracker right so first and tracker they're pointing to the same node then we are saying tracker is equal to trackers next so trackers next is pointing to this address of 110 so we say tracker so in here now that we say tracker is equal to trackers next so tracker will now be equal to this node in here so now it means that uh, previously tracker was here since we are saying tracker is equal to trackers next so this is now our tracker is in here so first is pointing to this node and the tracker is pointing to this node in here next what do we do we again go inside this for loop and we check for i is equal to uh, so the first time it's zero then we say it's plus plus so it now i is equal to one so for index we said that let's take an index of two so two minus one is equal to one is one less than one no it's not less than one so we will move out of this loop in here so currently we have a tracker that is pointing to the second node which has an index of one so what do we say next we said temps next is equal to trackers next so temp is this node that we just created in here so we are saying it's next should point to whatever this next is pointing to the trackers next so we know that the trackers next is pointing to this address of 126 which is this one in here so we are saying the temps next which currently is null we are saying it should point to 126 right so this is what we are doing in here so we can see that this 126 which is the address of this node in here it's equal uh, previously it was null now it's 126 because this is pointing to this in here next what do we do we said trackers next is equal to temp so previously we said temps next is equal to trackers next so this was a tracker we are saying temps next to point to this one in here so previously temps next was uh, trackers next was 126 and then we see that now it's pointing to 126 in here then this line that says trackers next is equal to temp so now that this is pointing to the new node so in a linked list we cannot have two nodes pointed to the same node so we are saying since we want this 35 to insert between these two and since this has the address of this node in here so all we have to do is we have to change this address to point to the newly created node so in here we can see that it has the address of 554 and this has the address of 54 554 so this is the effect of it so we are saying trackers next is equal to temp so tracker uh, this was a track what this is what the tracker was pointing to its next is now equal to 554 previously it was 126 which was this node now it is this newly created node it's 554 which is equal to this node in here so then we use the display function to display it so let's uh, see let's say we want to add insert add index so if we say insert at index so we want to add it at index 2 and we want to add 35 so let's run it so in here you can see that 35 resides between uh, 15 and 22 so we should see something like this in here so this is how it looks like our link list right now so 35 35 is between 15 and 22 so we can see that this is how we can add a node at the end uh, particular index inside the linked list now i won't do a debug of it because i think by this time um, you are very good at debugging yourself and understanding it through debugging it so this is it for this one guys if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and if you found this tutorial useful make sure to share it with your friends and i will see you guys in the next one